Seriously. One moment. How do I do this? I feel like a twit. There we are. Okay. So prep, um, firstly, are you still here? Lovely. I assume that you want to claim uh, that resub and the $25 for 30 minutes of bike time? Very good. Just wanted to make sure that uh, the, it was all properly accounted for. If you make me type year again, I'll get blocked. <laughs> well, no, it, it, I won't make you because, you know, I asked all that I needed. Okay, that's you. Let me get uh, controlling with controller, son. Let me get my T. Sorry, I was in an unstable pose, so very carefully picked up the tea. And Nonny, I remembered. Sorry, wrong camera. I remembered. <clears throat> right, let me roll this forward a bit so that I'm completely out of frame. One moment. Yeah, that'll have to do. One of these days I'm going to have to get a proper camera set up for this shit, but to be perfectly honest, <laughs> I don't know if I even have the space for it. It's going to be a heck of an undertaking. Either that or it's going to be costly as fuck as I basically rebuild this part of the room. Check all the options of the menu in the game as it was quite loud for me. Okay, well... <sighs> Let me start off with the Pringles for Nonny very quickly, just so that's out of the way. Also, to those of you on YouTube who are just joining us for this VOD, I imagine you're slightly confused. Just for reference, um, I got some donations to make me do some exercise bike for 30 minutes. I also got some donations to eat some spicy Pringles, which I haven't tried yet. Look, they are the scorching ones, Nonny, so that I'm not bamboozling you. And I was forced to swap games, so I'm in the middle of the stream, but this is a new VOD because I'm in a new game, as happens a lot on this channel. So, welcome and enjoy the suffering. <laughs> Help me. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, let me turn on screen capture. What the? Uh, there we go. No, this background isn't surprising. I don't know why you're surprised. Uh, hoist of loathing. Asymmetric. You're right, that is kind of loud. Not definitely. Yep, it's got control the controls. Never mind, that is quite loud. Oh, that's speed. Okay, how's this? Good gosh, this is this couldn't be more spaghetti western than a trial. Alright, five chips for Nani. Juan.
not as spicy, but they do have an impact. Ow. Oh! Oh. Feeling these. One moment though, because I lost my chat. There we go. Oh, right, by the way, Nani, I'm not even sure if you saw, but. Uh... It didn't yet! I'm pretty sure it's not an official uh, 360 controller, though. Just for giggles. This on the back is normally where there would be either stickers or engraved text uh, for all the copyright bullshit. It's just completely blank. And the central button, that's supposed to be an Xbox symbol, is just a uh, blank silver-colored sphere. But... It's as comfortable as an Xbox 360 controller and it works fine, so who gives a shit? <laughs> oh, you can barely see. One moment. Just. Oh, that's the wrong one. I need the webcam one. You can probably see it better here. This is just completely blank. And yeah, as you can see, that should be an Xbox X. Like I said, it doesn't matter worth a damn. I just like that they that those bastards advertised it as a uh, official controller. <laughs> and exactly as you say, it works. Who gives a shit? Yeah, I'm not going to be a lick the excess coating off your Pringles person for that because that sounds like it would hurt with these Pringles. <laughs> Sorry, I. Actually, in hindsight, I realise that sounds a little bit like, I know you bought me it, but you bought me the one that's not quite the one that I was hoping for. Not my intent. I am genuinely really happy with this controller. It's comfortable as hell and it's just as nice as a regular Xbox 360 controller. I just found it funny. That's literally the only reason I brought it up. So yeah, sorry, didn't mean to sound like an ingrate. Okay, I have tea. Oh, right, the announcement. Prep, do you, mi do you mind giving me about two more minutes before I start so that I can announce the thing that I wanted to announce announcingly? <clears throat> Actually, I can announce while cycling. What the f am I talking about? To make a long story short, um, the other day I was in Who Dares Exit Street. Who Dares X is a guy who really enjoyed watching me uh, stream uh, Final Fantasy VII New Threat Mod. And he was streaming the New Threat Mod as well. So, during that stream, he was talking about a mod project a uh, befriended streamer of his was creating. It's called Echo S, and essentially what it is is a very, very tiny project. It's very minuscule. Um, in which... They took the original Final Fantasy VII and voiced literally every single line in the game. Like I said, small project, very tiny. Suffice it to say, Who Dares ended his stream by raiding one of the directors of that. Alright, let me lower the game a little bit more then. How's this? But yeah, he raided one of the directors of that project who was doing an NPC community voicing stream. So, people from the community could raise their hands and put their best foot forward and try to get their voice into the mod. So, long story short, I kind of hesitantly went, me please, and I now have two NPCs in the game. And a lot of compliments on my voicing to the point where I was Genuinely blushing so hard that I probably burst several blood vessels. <coughs> it was really cool to do. 
And yeah, I wanted to quickly brag about that because, you know... I mean, you guys all know that I have... If not aspirations to be a voice actor, I would love to do it anyway. That is an aspiration. What the hell am I talking about? So yeah, I just decided spur of the moment to step forth. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> and basically raise my hand and go, well, if you need someone to voice a line quickly, I can do that. And they were really, really impressed, which was really cool. Of course, all the big roles are already given out, so I'm not going to be voicing Cloud or Sephiroth or Red 13 or what have you. But still. <laughs> Wanted for protagonizing. I am very confused. confused. <laughs> Can you tell us who you are voicing? Um, one throwaway NPC in the town of Calm. And do you remember the guy in Calm who you bring the Desert Rose, Earth Hub, and uh, Guidebook to for the underwater materia, a gold chocobo, and the master materials? I'm that guy. <laughs> Who they even offer to rename to Lasherus, but I'm not sure about that because that feels a little bit immersion breaking. But he had a crap ton of lines. But yeah, I'd love to go on to voice more because I genuinely really enjoy doing it. It just came out of nowhere. It was really cool to do. Yeah, best of luck in Final Fantasy VII, Kazzy. There are two Moogles in the whole game, with the exception of the fluffable, lovable Steed Mog. You can also just change your name freely when the thing shows up. Oh. I have a confused. Oh yeah, the name is just randomly generated. Why is the character creation screen this? You know what? I like it. I am now Eagle Roosevelt. <laughs> yeah, Gazi, voicing Moogles in Final Fantasy VII is kind of a... Well, an impossible endeavor, let's be entirely honest. <laughs> but if another Final Fantasy ever comes along, I will be sure to put your name forward as well. <laughs> uh, assuming they do open NPC night or the like, but if it does pop up, Gazi... I'll keep you posted in as much as I can. You have my word. Whew. How long have I been going, actually? No. Uh, oh. We're ready to get going. Are you? Yes. I want to be Stiltskin. Ah, uh, that's Moguo. Stiltskin is, uh... The traveling one. You're talking about the uh, world map save Moogle, that's Moguo. Cow puncher, bean slinger, or snake oiler. I'm. Uh, I'll, I'll just be the wizard, shall I? Let's be the wizard. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined in Lothan, and the bean slinger is the myth mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home. Due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. What the crap. Oh, 
the other descriptions. Cow punchers solve their problems with their fists. Whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable fella in a disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more agreeable for disagreeable fella in a slightly less reputable saloon. You know that cow punchers are in demand out there since the cows came home, which stands to reason. The cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. Oh dear God, help. <laughs> Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You know, the snake oilers are doing really well out there since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days. And also out west is where all the best snakes live. I have not now. Right, let's become a bean sling. This weird poster appeared here one night. You read the spine of one of your books, The Journey to Witch Graveyard. I read that one ten times. Sandy Danger and the Trouble at Butcher's Hospital. <laughs> Beat Hardy and the Secret of Rattlesnake Outhouse. Betsy Drew and the Haunted Lighthouse. Fuck off, Kent. <laughs> God damn it. Edith Danger and the Forgotten Forest. The Adventure of the Old House. Ah, this might come in handy. You got an item. Walking stupid. What? Do I get more items or is this just an Easter egg thing? Do it. Newer stuff. Walking stupid. You read the book from cover to cover and re learn to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking has been added to your options menu. You accidentally dropped the book and then ruined it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. What? Oh, good grief. Oh, my. Oh, I need to... Uh, I, it was already automatically turned on. Oh, dear. Colorblind... Oh, dear God, why? I have a question about the fact that this game appears to include colorblind mode. <laughs> hey, Russell. How you doing? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. How about cricket? Uh, yeah, Russell Crowe. Fucking hell. Maybe it's time for you to leave, too. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, then flies away to the west. <sighs> what the crap? Goodbye, bed. Time to head west to chase my real dreams! Possible. Wait, what do you mean cold hair? I literally don't have hair. And I got one experience. Okay. <laughs> This is... You pull the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. Screw it, I like the music. What the actual fuck? Whoa! The hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. You're gonna miss Mom's cooking. It's Mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. Your little brother's room. You pick up one of your brother's re weird books and flip through it. Tractatus Logico Philosophicus. How many different languages do you need to know to learn about numbers? Vorisch Vorlesungen über Zahlentheorie. Sophie Naturalis Principia Mathematica. Über die Darstellbarkeit einer Funktion durch eine trigonometrische Reihe. Think this is about math? Math? Maybe? Oh god, I stole this Rubik's Cube. Huh? 
I'm not swe sweating my ass off. Ellie looks that way. Your family's farm. No time to screw around in the wood. Time to head west. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna mess you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yeah, it's that book you wanted for Grimbo. I know it's early, but... Oh, God damn it! now I need to choose. <laughs> What about picking locks? Oh boy! That's the one. Enjoy it. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. I don't know, Belia. I was hugged by Mom. Yay. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That doesn't fit you, Dad. We'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favourite can of beans. Um, thanks, Dad. Good, good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. He's just barely holding it together. It's probably best for him if you just go. Your mom raises her eyebrow. I just wanted one more hug before I leave. Aw. Oh. I try, Hunt. Your brother Rufus is standing there looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. It's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? To help people. You've read the papers, Rufus. The people out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. 60% people are the 60 of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that's statistics from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mum and dad, I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. Still think you'll be dead by Grimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. Dig. I got a needle from a haystack. Of course I fucking did. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted by being tired. <laughs> right. Go west, young man. Ye. I'm not skipping the opening credits because this is stupid enough to enjoy. All right, very brief break. Fair enough, Prep. As ever, once again, cheers for the generousness. And you have a good night as well. Okay, what the fuck are these credits? fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple hours and now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. Good news is that you're in a town rather than a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town though. The town of Boring Springs. Turn up! Three hundred miles is too far on foot. You need a horse. A sign on the door reads, Gone drinking! As you walk into the saloon, the crazy eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hi! Where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Uh, well, uh. You can't drink anywhere like that! It ain't proper! He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Could you be any more suggestive, Assyria? You look through the hat box and find a magical black stetson. 
That looks like something you'd wear. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, sir. Pete! Thanks, Pete. Gives you a friendly if somewhat twitchy not. Say, fella. Yeah? You heading west? When you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. So, do I want a high-strung, drunk, possibly psychopathic party member? You walk up to the barn and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall, reading, Reward for Lost Mugs, 25 meat each. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Eagle. What brings you to our little backwater? Uh, the usual. Came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work here around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errant town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I reckon then taking talking to the railroad people up by dirt water. Uh, excuse me. The railroad? Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to Fresco now and in a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? I reckon they're always out hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. My apologies for my atrocious southern accent, by the way. Dirtwater? Dirtwater is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law. Not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damn cows. Lots of opportunity there. Yep, if I were a younger man, I'd probably head that way myself. You mentioned errand? Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg. And that no, no account sheriff can certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow poking from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. What? I can probably handle the goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. I'll take care of it. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know without even looking in it that it's absolutely disgusting. Let's look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. That's just something incredibly unwise. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a sp filth encrusted spittoon. I don't. I don't understand. What's wrong with it? Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Yee! Yeah! <sighs> this is very, very repulsive. You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like a vomit through a trough at a mesky bee barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like whoop. Your skin is burning, your eyes start to water. Well, <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pounding. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. <laughs> well, that was an experience. You already plumbed the depths of this spittoon and your own depravity. You should be ashamed of yourself. Can't play poker. Howdy, I'm Eagle. Howdy, Eagle, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? All the horses are just flying out the door. So, business is booming? Nice. No, I mean, the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. <laughs> That way of drinking here instead. Oh yeah? And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of them vicious cycle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. You have any left? One. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. 
How far am I? Because I'm getting very tired. Almost there. Okay, let's go. That night, Boring Springs Gazette, April 20th, 1895. Oops. Crate of Nurse Brand Whiskey. Good for what else, yeah? Guess we never established your age. <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally stepped away. What did they do this time, Cassie? The goblins shouts, Briag! Lava Fava. Okay. Bean Shield. Okay then. Kill him yet, you'll see later, just preventing a possible mistake. Oh shit, sorry. Howdy, good to see you again, uh, Eagle. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? That's Susie, she's a rancher from nearby. Real tough broad, I ain't recommend you pass her a... What's that? Lost her old family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Fair enough. Took care of the goblin. Thank you kindly, Eagle. I knew you was a stand up fella the moment you walked in here. Here you go. It's the least I can do to say thanks. So meat is basically money. Just thought I'd say honey. Well, mason accomplished, I reckon. Yes, indeed, bye. Let's go visit the sheriff. <laughs> Wanted for bird theft. Naked Mike Bernstein. Help wanted. Wanted poster artist. Applying person at the Yuma Marshal's office. Bimmy Fricker for face thieving. A crap. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? Uh, the sheriff, a guy. Blasted sign painted. So, you wouldn't be happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here what call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with them. I, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. If possible, uh, Smiley. And? And I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch you back for me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff after all. We gotta stay here and practice my chair tipping. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. Depu you deputize a gun? In noon time, maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Yeah, let me write down where the fricker gang out at is for you. Got it, I'll be back with the door. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, I have to be nearly there. Two more minutes. Fine. Right, didn't she have a uh, return my mugs policy? Found this mug. Yay. What do you say, Pete? Me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, Dag Nabbits and Double Dross and Sign Wider sat my flapjack. Uh, uh, see you later, Pete. <laughs> you 
You were not wrong. <laughs> I'm just curious if there's also something for the crap. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. You have been poked by so many cactuses that your body's built up an entire extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with a constant tiny puncture wound. <laughs> oh god, the pun! When you were a child, you wanted to walk so badly. You finally have. <sighs> oh, that is terrible. Oh, I need to get off this fucking bike. You're smart, <laughs> and fox, you're smart than a box of rocks. Summon a fava bee made of boiling lava and hurl it toward your unsuspecting fires. Conjure up a whirling sphere of beans that will protect you from melee attacks. You tamper with the forces of nature, making yourself a force of nature. You're smart than a box of rocks. Glamour is your appreciation of the finer things in life. As it increases, you'll be able to consume more cocktails and you'll also be able to afford them. Fair. <laughs> Aye, the level of get up and get it done. Aye, it is the quicker you are. The extent to which you're truly gritty. Aye, it is the tougher you'll be. You got moxie, kid, and this is how much of it. Moxie affects how much damage you do when shooting and how much damage you take when getting shot. This is your mysticality. It affects the amount of damage you do with spells and the amount of damage you take from spells and elemental attacks from bad guys. Three, two, one, thirty minutes. I am actually suffering saddle pain. This is uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> <sighs> I already have them on. Next time wear pants. What you imagine me to be wearing isn't what I'm actually wearing, Asteria. Bit, bit worried about these so many other things. I'll be back in game in just a moment. I'm just making sure everything is set up correctly. Did I tell you about a contest I saw? No. But did I tell you that I uh, did voice acting? Yes, I know I probably did, but still. Eagle Roosevelt, the bean slinger. Step right up! Step right up! Raids the name and trades the game! You seriously doubt his name is Braid? Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I am trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well to that adventurous soul I'll trade a fine silver pocket watch. 
Well, I have a needle, so... Uh, not worth a needle? Okay. No trade right now, thanks. Get lost! Okay, then. You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself! My name's Bill. Cactus Bill. Where people were asked to pick a word, add, remove, replace a letter, and give it a new definition. Ignoramus. Someone both stupid and an arsehole. <laughs> Reincarnation. To come back as a hillbilly. <laughs> That's a terrible and I approve. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this had happened, but I didn't listen. I need to take off my headset for a minute. My head is too sweaty and I don't want to turn the earmuffs of my uh, headset into, uh, well, soggy earmuffs, I guess. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. Well, does it hurt? You know? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh! <laughs> that's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus, key, pardon me, keep me pretty drunk most of the time. Guess it's a mite boring. Oh, that was the towel. I had it not a minute ago, there it is. Ugh. Yeah, I bet. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? Yes, I found one in the basement. Much obliged, partner. Now, let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at all whole mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Behind the outhouse at all whole mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. This game is phenomenally stupid, I like it. Nope, you're not, you're, you're not allowed in Topeka anymore, remember? I don't and I'm a little bit worried about it. Oh, I also have this here. <laughs> this whiskey is too cheap for you to even consider drinking it. And given your legendarily low standards, that's really saying something. Though getting this ring was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. Was it, though? Don't be fooled by all the stars. This ain't got much magic in it. Oh, it's a lockpick. You think a can of infinite with an unlimited number of beans in it would be really exciting, but these beans are pretty terrible. It's a pretty cool thing to carry around, though. Ah. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape! I mean... Theft. <laughs> At least the writing is probably semi-funny. <laughs> Hopefully at least. <laughs> Excuse me. No, no, no. That's why they got the escape, Catty. So they won't need to be on a pizza. I guess. I need left trigger to just go to a new place. Make your own damn guy to Born Springs and his end round. I love the fact that the compass rose points to west first. Yeah, the sheriff office. Where the sheriff does his work. Let's go to the Fricker Gang out out. Thud Fricker, the Fricker Gang's intrepid lookout, appears to be taking a little nap. Just shoot him. That doesn't seem very sportsmanlike. You shouldn't want to do that. Okay, fine. I'm not going to commit rampant murder. It's a beer barrel cactus. Well, the random stuff, the Frick again, so... Boing. Did 
just wait. Okay, fine. You poke Thad with your boot. He slowly gets to his feet. Oh, you're not supposed to be here. Thad is... Well, let's say he's no road scholar. If we assume that it's seven years from now, that idiot makes sense. You feel bad about the idea of killing him. Thud, you don't want this life. Take a hike. Okay, you're probably right. Thud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. You're okay. So now I am honourable. Okay. <laughs> Slide. The Fricker Gang's out of inside. One of the Fricker boys is dozing in a bathtub. <laughs> Can you pass the soap? He mumbles and hands you a bar of soap before sinking deeper into both sleep and the tub. Grab a nearby length of rope and carefully tie his hands together, and then to the handles of the tub. The sheriff can come collect him later. You cautiously approach the Fricker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a kit barrel, and you drop on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe. The squirrely one is his brother Wimpy. <laughs> I like how your options are just approach or just leave. Wait, no, then. Okay, now they basically form an invisible wall. Howdy, boys. Tell me in. That is adorable. A little annoying that their store is still uh, set in the UK, so shipping it here is going to be a right bastard, but... Yeah, due to your, your order will now be considered import, because, yeah, the usual uh, custom shipping stuff. Still, neat. Did you order dragon stuff? No! Shit! You're right, I completely forgot. I'll handle that after the stream. The one without the eye patch raising an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thun Soapy? What do you want? It's me, Bimmy! Your brother! <laughs> He's squinting. Bimmy? You ain't Bimmy. I am so bimmy, I stole some rube face. I have no idea. <laughs> you always did have a knack for face wrestling. Well, that's Neil Bimmy. We gotta get out of here and fast, Wimpy. The Pinkertons are on to us and they'll be here any minute. Dang, damn it. Come on, Sniper, let's hightail it. I'll catch up with you guys later tonight. Wimpy nods. You and Sniper hurriedly pack up their belongings and flee the cave. You congratulate yourself on your attentiveness, memory, and strong interpersonal skills. For reference, Bimmy was the guy who stole th faces. He was on one of the wanted posters at the sheriff's office. I grabbed a mug. 50 mate. Yeah. Yeah, this game is weird. Ha ha ha, hunt. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm 700 meters short. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? That's nice business. Oh, you know, every day, Marsland. To tell you the truth, I was pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away, except for this completely ordinary one. It's rough. Maybe we can help. Oh, God, yeah, thank you. Please, I go fetch him myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 me each for finding him. And 
many are there? Three! Yeah, let me see your map. They're pretty much always running away at the same places. <laughs> Ow. Ugh. Why these places? I think they're like environments that are thematically appropriate. Yeah, when you find one, feed it some of these outs. They should send it back here. Thank you. How does that work? A special pigeon infused out. I'm. That that homing pigeon out. It's a shame Drevels went to bed. Otherwise, I would have asked him to post the meme. It's an inside joke. Don't worry about it. Oh God, that is squishy. Ugh. Well, stream's almost over, it's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to interact with horse. This is the most typical horse you've ever seen. But is it though? I found these mugs. Cheers. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy is going to be certain the spit tune for his teeth if he don't leave me in peace. Okay, bye bye then. You forgetting something in there? Like what? Because I am a very shitty poker player. Oh. All oh, right, needles and haystacks. You said something earlier about an injury? Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how it's embarrassing. I was going to get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows. She just shut herself up in her office. Said she wouldn't talk to anyone except nurse, nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse? I'm pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. Well, I've got Nurse Whiskey. Regrettably, it's out of stock. Also, I own it on Steam. And I think I, uh, completely legally downloaded the art book. Oh, it hasn't released yet? Huh? Are you sure? Because, uh... Oh, that doesn't even mention that for me, Kazzy. It just tells me that it's out of stock. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 14th of October 2021. I guess it's for the art book. That or the Switch version uh, is coming out later. Neat, I suppose. Could have sworn I had the art book, though. Excuse me. Also, I have soap. Do I want a lock or do I want to keep soap? Dr. Swackleton's Pure Cassie Soap. Where this comes from, they call it soap. Braid, now you really don't think his name is actually Braid, takes your soap and hands you a lock. Fair enough. I mean, I've got three needles. Do I want dynamite? Good. Whiskey delivery for you, Doc. 
What brand? Nurse Whiskey. Your favourite, I'm led to believe? Do you know she makes ass calls? Alright, hold on. Uh, wow, shouldn't this be further from, from the fireplace? This stove is spotless. Either she's really compulsive about cleaning, or she never cooks. Hey, Doc, can I look at your books? Not until you give me that whiskey, you promise me! Okay, okay, fine. You grab a pair of tweezers and pluck some of your more unsightable eyebrows. <laughs> okay, this looks to be about in her 50s. Her hair is grey and her face is lined. But her eyes are still clear and sharp, if bloodshot. Whiskey, stat! She cracks up on the whiskey and fills a small flask she takes out of her pocket. And she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Jeez, Doc, that don't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here? Me or you? Okay, point taken. <laughs> sure, if you wanna. Not that they're, that they're gonna do you much good in this doomed forsaken LL. You should try being less cheerful, Doc. You survey the books on Alice's shelf. They're all medical textbooks, except for a few. The, the Legend of Curly's Meat. This book tells of the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat, secreted, in the hidden sense, not in the extruded sense, in the western desert by an old cowhand named Curly Butterfield. Awesome. This book purports to be a Civil War surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through it, you mostly just find lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad. So it's actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. <laughs> At least there's some useful appendices in the back, and some diagrams of appendices. You start flipping through the Goblin language book. It's confusing at first, but eventually you get so engrossed that by the time you take a break, break from reading, several blurfs are passed, and you also know that blurf is the Goblin word for hour. You've learned to speak Goblin. Sort of. Doc Alice continues to pour whiskey down her neck, occasionally stopping to breathe. Uh, is everything all right? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so... <laughs> so what's... I mean, what's the matter, Doc? What's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart and you ask what the matter is? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking... Why don't you go ahead and pick one and I'll drink to that? Dead men walking? You haven't seen it? Corpses and skeletons sta staggering around like puppets with half their strings cut. We can take a bite out of the liver. Nope. Well, just count your lucky stars and stay out of the town cemetery then. Hmm. Fair enough, Hunt. But... We have reached... The one hour mark. Oh, and as such, I think that's about time to wrap it up. Does the game auto save or do I need to save manually? It saves everywhere, okay. Then I think I'm going to leave it here. Oh, hang on. Cool. Might as well grab what I can. This feels like the kind of game that rewards all the random shit you pick up. Hmm. This game is so weird. Yes, it is. This is very stupid. You can turn off the silly walking. Don't worry. I already have. 
Oh, no, I already have the DLC, thanks to hand. True. No, 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 no. I wanted to select quit, not shoot the DLC thing again. But yeah, on that note, everyone, um, time for me to wrap up. I'll read that chat message later. Smiley. Whoa, I got my card. Why would I want to do what? Look, my card. I'll believe that, Hunt. This was a bit of a slow thing. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me turn off screen cap. And let's just quickly go raid Brian. As for me, guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, more of this insanity uh, tomorrow, obviously. Uh, it's going to be back to Trails in the Sky the 3rd then. For now, I think I'm going to catch an early-ish night. I am really drained. But at least capable of saying random shit like that. Also, Tuna, if you uh, are still here, I hope you enjoyed the first time you were here. To anyone else who was still here for the first time, I hope you enjoyed the first time you were here. In all seriousness, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you again tomorrow, but for now, I just want to bid you all a very good weekend. Until next time. Good night. <laughs>